guys, what is going on? It's the real authentic here, and today we are back with episode three in our career mode series. Now, in the last episode, we played our preseason matches and signed the players you guys suggested in the uh, previous episode to that. And so, in this game, this, this episode, sorry, we are going to be playing Yeovil Town in our Capital One Cup match. Now, for those who don't know, Derby never do well. In the first round of cup competition, uh, we always seem to go out to lower league opposition, and so I was wondering if this was going to be the case today against Yeovil. There was one occasion a few years back where we actually got to the League Cup semi-final. We actually won Man U in the first leg through a Chris Commons thunderbolt, but we got trounced in the uh, return leg at Old Trafford. Um, that's probably the <laughs> best we've done in cup competition recently. And so here we are. Yeovil, um, I've put up out a decentish side, you know, we've got Benzie and Robinson up front. Looking forward to seeing how those two play together. And so here we are just going through the pre-match uh, ritual. And then we are kicking off, Yeovil to kick off first at their ground. And it wasn't until the ninth minute where Marsh Brown running down that right hand side for Yeovil crosses it in to Reed who uh, very closely finishes it but uh, doesn't go in and uh, it wasn't until the half hour mark that Yeovil continuing their attack actually get a goal disallowed that was for offside Brayford now in the 39th minute giving the ball away very cheaply and it wasn't it was Young who uh, made the most of it and finishes it into the corner of the goal fielding probably should have done better but uh, it was a goal nonetheless and it was 1-0 to Yeovil I was thinking this is not happening to me not today and I made two subs two much needed subs and I brought on Jamie Ward Nathan Tyson there you go for Will Hughes and Michael Jacobs so you know Jamie Ward is an international player I was hoping he'd be uh, the uh, threat that uh, needed up front and it wasn't, it was Tyson. So Robinson feeding into Tyson, who one on one nearly finishes it in. It's not the nicest finish you'll see, but it's a finish nonetheless. Nathan Tyson scoring to make it 1 1. And so in the 84th minute now, guys, Yeovil came close. You know, that was a shot there just wide, but, uh, you know, Yeovil was very much up for the win today. Luckily, though, Benzia with a shot there. But Lucas Piazon on the rebound in the 88th minute. Unbelievable. And uh, that's how it finished, guys. 2-1 to Derby. They broke the duck of getting knocked out in the first round. We have progress into the second round. And you'll find out who we get in the next episode. So after that game, although we won, I felt like we needed to add a few more players to the squad. And so that's why I went into the loan market. Here you see me just uh, putting the full loan and submitting the search. And these are the players that came up. There's some very good players in there. But one that stood out for me was Paul Pogba. Uh, an absolute beast in FIFA 12. And uh, I felt like I needed a centre defensive mid. And uh, this guy just fit the bill really. And so here you go. Putting a full season loan. And hopefully he will come within the next week or two. And then I looked further down and saw this guy, Raheem Sterling of Liverpool, having an absolute awesome season at the moment for Liverpool. And though, although he's the left winger and he'll probably be competing for Lucas Piazon, I'm going to put him on the right hand side if we do get him. And uh, you know, him and Piazon will make an absolute incredible force down the wings. So with those loan bids in place, we then moved our attentions to the Empower Championship game against Bolton. Recently relegated from the, from the Premier League, the one player I did notice they had added was Grant Holt from Norwich. And so the Derby County lineup was this, fielding in net, Brayford, Keogh, Barker and White in defence, with Hendrick, Piazon, Tyson and Bryce in midfield, and Benzia and Salmon up front. I was looking forward to seeing how Benzie and Salmon would link up up front. And um, so here we are. We've got Bolton kicking off at Pride Park. And it was only a few minutes into the game when Bolton went on the attack. We've got Ngog to Lee. Lee back to Ngog. Ngog into Mears. Who puts it into Lee. And what a save there by Frank Fielding at his front post. And uh, it went out for a corner. 
swung in by the Bolton player, filled in with a great save again, and then the Derby County defender on the line to put in that block. And then in the 10th minute now, Bolton back on the attack, and Grant Holt with a neat little finish into the corner of the net. That's just That sums up Grant Holt really. Right place, right time, and a fantastic finish by him. And then a few minutes later after that, it just went from bad to worse as Keo was adjudged to have made a foul in the box. I didn't see it myself. Here, There he is, just so gutted. And Grant Holt steps up and absolutely hoofs it in to the centre of the net. And it's 2-0 to Bolton. So Derby, on the probably the first attack of the game, they, he gets lucky, Benzia, here. And what a finish there by Benzia. Absolutely clinical. The striker, on loan from Leon, scores his first cup, uh, first competitive goal for the club. And then we are on the attack again. Tyson into Salmon, who puts a loft ball over into Benzia. And what a finish again. You know, nice finesse past the goalkeeper. And now it is 2-2. Derby very much back in the game. Thought they were out, but... Uh, back in the game and then in the five minutes near the end salmon dribbling across the edge of the area smashes it in to the top of the net top right hand corner and what a goal by salmon proving that one million pound it was really worth the money and there it is guys going into half time derby county three two up unbelievable half really bolton had taken the lead two nil but uh, derby three two up now and so they kicked off the second half, but it was in fact Bolton who were at the hour mark attacking again. And uh, Davis into Ngog, but narrowly misses wide there, very close from Ngog. Bryson again with, wins the corner there. He was just cropping up all over the place. And uh, Lucas Piazon with the corner. And look at this, Bryson again, so close from him, really was close to getting his first goal this season for Derby but Bryson there just showing his anger probably at not scoring earlier um, going for the cheeky little uh, lob there from halfway line and look at this Bryson again you know save from the keeper on the 90th minute but Bolton doing what they do best counter-attacking football Chris Eagles into Mark Davis back to Chris Eagles into Lee who puts it back into Chris Eagles, who goes for the shot, but blocked by Barker. But Chris Eagles luckily gets the ball again and smashes it into the goal. 3-3. And that's how it ended, guys. I couldn't believe it. I thought I was going for that 3-2 win, but Chris Eagles, in the last minute, scoring for Bolton to make it 3-3. You know, before the game, I would have taken a point, but you know when you... 3-2 right at the death and to concede in the last you know seconds of the game um, it really does put a dampener on the game but 3-3 it was so here I am just going through the uh, I'm just going to go through the Empower Championship as you can see here blue unbelievable forest at the top I'm going to make sure that is not the case uh, come the end of the season and so that's been about it for today, guys. If you enjoyed the video, please leave a like. If you're looking forward to more of these, please do subscribe. I've been Real Authentic. Remember, guys, keep it real. See ya.